Hey guys, welcome back to a new game called Don't. <laughs> so, uh, let's check it out and see what we can do. I know we just bought a house thing in Appalachian Mountains or something like that. The oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear. And the oldest and strongest kind of fear is fear of the unknown. H.P. Lovecraft. That's true, most people are afraid of what they don't know. Facing financial difficulties and desperate for a place to live, Jake, a young man in his early 20s, comes across an irresistible offer. Apparently, an elegant house situated in the Appalachian Mountains had a surprisingly affordable price. Well, Appalachian Mountains, that's your first problem right there. Oh, no, I thought any next, I had time. Okay. Mm. After barely finding available bus rides to the place, enduring an exhausting journey, Jake encounters something he's not disclosed to him at the time of the purchase. The house was situated in the middle of the forest, separated from the small town by a long stretch of trees. If only... I really... His impulse decision may have consequences he is not yet aware of, leading him not a, to a new beginning, but to a nightmare that is only just beginning. Day one. All right. Now you can probably pause it to try to catch up on what I wasn't able to read there. So. 22.51 p.m. All right. Oh. Uh... Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, house. Okay. A little bit laggy. Oh, very laggy. <laughs> I'm just sliding. Okay. I need to look on my phone. Okay. Wow, I I'm sad. I have two people. Okay. Hey, is this Bob J here? I saw the house listing and I'm interested in buying. Is it still available? Yes it is. Available. Oh perfect then. I think on I'm thinking of moving tomorrow. Is that is there any problem? Not at all. That's your first red flag. Uh silly question. I heard rumors about the area being haunted or something. Is that true? No, the area is calm. These rumors are not true. Don't worry. Ah, what a relief to hear that. It's because I'm very scared of these things. Anyway, I should arrive tomorrow at this time. Perfect. I won't be able to be at the house tomorrow, so when you arrive, turn on the generator and get the house key. Oh, it should be near the generator. And the generator is outside the house. Alright, now it's keeping outside. It's not the dinners. No, the neighborhood is quiet. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so neighborhood quiet is an understatement. I'm in the woods. My next door neighbor is probably a fox. Okay, it's on. All right, now the key. It's really weird. I, like, I, I move and I look out. I keep going. <laughs> so where... Where's the key? Oh. I'm glad I saw that flash. I'm glad there was a flash on it. I would never have seen that in the leaves. Stop. Oh, oh cool. They left me trash. This house doesn't seem right. Something's off. I swear the listing photos were different. I'll message Bob. Dude, the house is... Nothing like the listing photos. Not sent. What happened? Not sent. No signal? Really? This is a nightmare. Well, let's get back in our car and go... See Mom, apparently. I'm starving after this long travel. I'll eat something while I think of a way to leave. Can I drive here? Well, there's apparently pizza. Get food. Where, where, where am I getting food from? The 
the can's already open. You should never stick a can in the microwave. What time is it? I don't know. I like watching TV while I eat my can of beans or spaghettios, maybe. You hear something? Like I'm running past the window. Oh. Uh -oh. Well, I got something to see on, probably. Okay, no signal. Sure. There's no bus for the next five days. I was... I got lucky at... What? You have a bus in the middle of the woods? I can't simply walk out. It's too far from home. This food sucks. Yeah, I agree. It's going straight in the trash can. Okay. It's like a ball sack. Eyes. What's this door? Oh, it's probably back in the living room, maybe? All right, so let's check out upstairs. Why not? I need to go to sleep. I'm not feeling well. Probably from the open can of beans. I'll sort anything tomorrow. Yeah, probably from the open can of beans that we just ate that were on the counter. We got a bedroom here. What's this? I don't know who's going gonna find this, but I need to write it. Maybe this way things will be more clear to me. Or clear? Clear. Clear to me. I moved to this house some time ago. It feels like I'm being watched all the time. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like something or someone is stalking. The city does not like to talk about it. I got this feeling that something is hiding here. You he found this. Stay alert. Trust your instincts, just like my mom always told me. Our instinct? It the soul speaking what the body contests. Helena. What? Is this being observed? Probably. Is there a hole in the wall? It's really funny if you look around and you see an eyeball kind of hole. Ew. Flush it. Okay. We got bedroom to the left and one over this way. This door. Oh yeah, I can turn the flashlight on. You see outside better. All right. Uh, so besides the grody toilets, let's just go to bed here, I guess. Well, not door though. Oh, cool. Blinds closing. That'd be a good thing. Day two. 3.47 a.m. Wow. What the? Guys. What was that? I would have to say it's the generator turning off. There's no way. Oh, 
Oh, the door's open. Oh, that's not good. Oh, was there a, did I just, oh, I think it was just a weird reflection of the glass. I thought there was someone standing there. Oh, this door opens now. Okay. Guess we go turn generator back on. Or in the face. Ow. Ew. Wait, the mic actually works, doesn't it? I think. Old Drainer keeps turning off. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. Okay. Anyway. Let's go back to bed. That's just weird. But okay then. I like to see the lights on anyway. 10.21 a.m. Nice, okay. Good morning. Is that book always there? Yeah, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I think I'd probably start walking. I should write on my diary before starting the day. Okay. I arrived here and immediately noticed I immediately noticed that this house is nothing like in the photos. Maybe it used to look that way before, but now it seems so old. But okay. I'm the one who decided to come here. I need some changes in my life anyway. Luckily, I brought this journal with me without internet signal and the TV being off, there's really not much to do. At least with this, I can pass some time and not feel so lonely. I'll show this journal to my mom when she comes to visit so she can see how I'm doing just fine living alone. But honestly, there's a few things that made me a bit suspicious about this place. It's fine not having internet signal yet, and all. I just moved in, these things happened, but what about that paper I found yesterday? Who is this Hel Helena? And what is she talking about? I still don't have a signal, so I won't be able to talk to Bob about this. Maybe she was just imagining things. I was pretty tired yesterday, and feeling a bit like that too. But it's just the fatigue. I even forgot to close the door properly. Yeah. It's good that this generator stops shutting down soon. It gets very dark here at night. I need the light. Otherwise, I can't see a thing in front of me. Luckily, I brought my flashlight. Today, I have to start by dealing with the mess in this house is in. It's been possible to live in a place like this for so long. I'll finish writing here and cleaning everything up. Okay, cool. Oh, pick up. Oh. I was not seeing things. There's something wrong here. Very fishy. I didn't understand very well, but I know this. Don't run. Don't look and don't scream. Never stay on the fort. Never stay on the forest at night. Don't leave the marked trail. It is marked for a reason. If you hear voices calling your name. Don't answer. Never look straight into the trees. This paper showed up out out of nowhere. I swear I could have looked here before. Who's this woman? Why is she helping me? This house is a mess. It seems whoever left was in a hurry. <laughs> well, I'd be in a hurry. Who's that? Blood in the window? Oh, 
<laughs> I can't forget the toilet. No, you certainly can't. That's better. I'm pretty sure I'm done. This goes in the kitchen and the trash can. But there's my bathroom over here. Oh. Okay. Why is it that I can see that like that? I'll try to look for something to do to spend the time. Oh, explore the square man. 22.06 p.m. I spent time in the bathroom. I needed this bath. Oh, okay. I'm starving. I barely ate since I got here. No. Oh. Nasty beans. Yeah, what did those say? Don't look. Yeah, I'm looking. Alright, so we need food. Okay. I need to put it on a pizza pan. It goes in the oven. I just need to wait. Man, what do I do? Everything went wrong. I'm stuck far away from home. I wish I could go back in time. What was that? I must be seeing things. Sure. Yeah, I'm just hungry. At least it looked good. There's no TV, I should sit down at the table. Now, oh, where? Maybe the table over here? Alright. Where did the free food come from, by the way? Pick up with a pan back? No. This place is killing me. I'm seeing things. I should go to sleep to calm myself down. Sure. Yeah, that's that's what's going on here. All of these. I don't see with no window hanging open. And all the doors are closed. That's good. All right. I can't sleep. That thing I saw is haunting me. It can't be real. I must be hallucinating. Maybe writing my diary will help. Okay. I think it is more clear now, but it's still weird. I did try to talk to someone tomorrow. Now I need to go to bed. Oh, here we go. Alright, I had to write this because I can't sleep. Today when I was preparing my pizza, I ended up staring at the trees through my window for a long time and started seeing things. What the hell is it that I saw? Shadow in the middle of the trees. It looked human, but different. It looked kind of squarish with an arm. Um, I don't know what it was. I'm really... Am I really seeing things? It could be just my imagination again, since I spent the day looking for things to distract myself. It might be that. I'm starting to wonder if it's me going crazy from being alone, or if something is wrong with this place. While cleaning the house today, I found another piece of paper, probably written by the same woman who wrote the previous one. She mentioned some rules I had to follow, but why? Am I ol the only one living here? The, ne the nearest town is far away. 
I think that this is something that the previous resident or even Bob left me left to get me a scare. Wow. I could if I weren't for two reasons. First, I found the paper right outside my room. There was nothing there when I went to sleep. Not even the generator shut down. I'm sure of that. There's no way I could have missed a piece of paper like that. Another thing, when I broke rule five and stared directly at the trees for too long, that happened. Oh. Okay. I don't know what to make of all this with what that's happening, but I think it's worth following these rules. I can't know what they mean, but maybe they exist for a reason. And I don't want to find out why. The good thing is that the generator hasn't shut down so far. Hope we knocked on some wood or something. I don't know if I have the courage to go check, but maybe I can sleep peacefully tonight. Well, I'm a bundle of nerves, so just sleeping would be a victory. I need to find a way to talk to someone tomorrow. Okay. Remember, we don't. I can't scream. You know, I don't scream that often, so we should be good there. I need help as soon as possible. I can't take this anymore. Why am I not using the bathroom in my room? These creatures on the forest, I swear they're real. I'm not getting crazy. They're like flesh wound, almost impossible to see. When they change, they transform into humans, animals, humans, animals, trying to deceive us. It is very important that you recognize and stay away. Weird stuff happens around here. I don't know if it's the old generator or what, but it keeps turning off. I swear I hear voices of my mother that died a long time ago. I'm not crazy. That must be the thing I saw yesterday. I need help. Yes, you do. More one way than one. How do you know that I'm actually finding notes? It'll be all in my head. And what am I doing? I'm staring out into the forest. Okay, I'll call mom. Um, uh, no signal, of course. Hi, son. How's the move going? Uh, maybe I get somewhere high on the forest. The forest is creepy, but I have to go. Hi, son. How's the move going? Hi, mom. Fantastic. I'm getting things ready to go. Jake, have you thought this move through? I did. It was too good of an opportunity to pass on. Mom, I know that you're worried, but I need you to trust me this time. I got a bad feeling about this. Please reconsider this decision. Please, son. I already have the bus scheduled to go. Alright, son. Don't forget to keep in touch. I love you. Mom, I need help. Come get me. Okay. So, let's try to contact mom somewhere else. Somewhere high. Poof. Hey, I must have turned my mic, my uh, headset a little bit too high. There we go. <laughs> the wind startled me because it was so freaking loud. All right, so is this the trail? Jake, what happened? I'm going to... But the trip is long. It should take a few days. Okay. I'm just back. Okay, I was so paranoid. I didn't want to really talk because I have no idea what the mic will do. I need to go to sleep. Then maybe time passes, more, passes quickly and mom arrives. Yeah, sure. Sleeping will do it. Maybe we'll write in our journal somewhere. Is that what we want to do? Baffled. Okay. Three thirty three AM
I don't know. Should I answer that? This is about knocking. See the peephole option till it's too late. Can I load it back there. Oh, I'm back here again. Okay, I'll see you back there when we get back to the peephole incident. <laughs> 3 33 a.m. again. All right, we're back. And now we don't we just open the door. There's a peephole option. Mom? May, yes, son. I came to pick you up. But you said it would take a while to get here. I rushed, got here faster than I thought. Sure. Open the door, and let's get out of here. But... No. I know it's gonna happen. Should I answer? Hell no! I'm gonna go back to bed. All right. Day four. All right. 20.59 p.m. I keep weird, really weird sleep patterns. Okay. So... There's any more notes upstairs? Ah, cool. All right. Hide. This is probably the worst place. Ever. Just to hide. Can I hide under the. Maybe I'm just not in the bed, right? Ah, there we go. What do I do now? Move sofa. Okay. I should go to my room. That makes sense.
Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Oh, and I'm just gonna hang out here. Hours later. All right, hopefully it's during the day. It's 3.33. Day five, all right. 17.21 p.m. Finally, surely it's my mom. Surely it could be. Eating it. Well, that's probably not a good thing. When the fear reaches its peak and mind is fulfilled by absolute horror, the exposed soul he will consume it, ending this cycle only to another one begin. Oh! I was like, why did the music get so quiet? Oh, nice uh, feet. Broadcasting live to the heart of the Appalachian Mountains. I'm Mike Thompson. Don't. Okay. Interesting little game. Um, definitely uh, needs some work, but you know, there's a, there's a good promise there. Um, little weird bugs here and there, but otherwise, I enjoyed it. I scared the crap out of me twice. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to check out yourself, be down in the description. Get some support to the developer. They did a pretty good job on it. Um, let me know down in the comments what you thought of it, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.